Hi again, World History 2 students. Mr. Deegan here. Please get out your vid notes unit two packet. In front of you, you see a map of the world in 1500 showing all of the five major world religions and where they are located. The Renaissance sparks change in the church. How? That's the question we're going to address today after we study the five major world religions in more depth. You see a picture here of the head of the Catholic Church, the Pope, with piles of money around him and a Catholic monk saying, this isn't right. And Erasmus was an early Christian critic of the Catholic Church. It had become corrupt and too powerful. We'll talk more about that today. Here are the five major world religions and their symbols. Christianity with the cross, Islam with the crescent moon and star, Hinduism with the Om symbol. Whenever you recite a religious text, you use the sound effect Om, and there's also the symbol to show it. The Dharma wheel of Buddhism. We'll talk more about the eight spokes of this wheel and what they symbolize. And Judaism has as its symbol the Star of David. What is religion? Let's back up and define what this is. Religion is a set of beliefs about the cause, nature, and the purpose of the universe, often containing a moral code. Religion answers many questions that we have about life. Here are three that I think are important that religion does address. What is the purpose of my life? Religion provides purpose. What happens when I die? All religions offer an explanation of the afterlife, what happens after death. And religion also attempts to explain the seemingly inexplicable, in other words, question number three, why do bad things happen? Why do bad things happen to good people? World religions in 1500. We just spoke of this map and the locations of these five major world religions. Now let's dig a little deeper into these five major religions. Hinduism. There's no single founder for Hinduism. Hinduism started in 2600 BC, before the birth of Christ, and its founding location is in India. The characteristics of Hinduism, the holy book of Hinduism is the Bhagavad Gita, the Bhagavad Gita. Hindus do have a caste system in their religion. There are 900 million people in the world who say they are Hindu. Hinduism has the belief in one God who takes on many forms. And there are two major traits of Hinduism. The idea of reincarnation, rebirth based upon your karma. And what is karma? Well, karma is the knowledge that all thoughts and actions result in future consequence. In other words, what you do affects your future. Karma and reincarnation are traits of Hinduism. Let's talk now about Buddhism. The founder of Buddhism is Siddhartha Gautama, also known as the Buddha. You see him here. When did Buddhism start? 528 BC, before Christ, or BCE, before the Common Era. They both mean the same thing. And the founding location of Buddhism is also in India. The characteristics of Buddhism. Buddhists do not believe in God, but instead believe that there is a quest to achieve enlightenment and to free oneself from suffering. And the fundamental belief of Buddhism is the four noble truths. Find peace in your soul and you achieve that peace by following the eightfold path to enlightenment. There are eight ways you have to live your life, according to Buddhists, to find inner peace. 
That's why on their symbol, they have eight spokes to their Dharma wheel. There are 700 million people in the world who say they are Buddhists. And an early missionary who spread Buddhism was Ashoka, pictured here. He spread Buddhism from India to China and other parts of Asia. From Buddhism to Islam, the founder of Islam was the prophet Muhammad, pictured here. The date Islam started was 622. Its founding location was in modern day Saudi Arabia, as you see pictured here in red, northeast of Africa in the Middle East. Characteristics of Islam. Islam is a monotheistic religion. Muslims practice the belief of only one God. The holy book in Islam is called the Quran. And what are the rules of Islam? Well, they are found in the idea of the five pillars, five ways of being a good, true Muslim. Muslims call their God Allah, and there are 1.3 billion people in the world who practice Islam, who are Muslims. Moving on to Judaism. The founder of this religion is Abraham. You see him pictured here. Judaism started in 1300 BC before the birth of Christ. And the founding location of Judaism is in modern day Israel. In the Middle East, north of Africa, northeast of Saudi Arabia. What are some of the characteristics of Judaism? First, it's monotheistic. Also, its holy book is called the Torah. The rules of Judaism are found in the Ten Commandments, just like in Christianity. Jews call their God Yahweh. And there are 14 million Jews in the world. Christianity, another monotheistic religion, the founder of Christianity is Jesus. It started in the year 27, during the life and times of Jesus. And the founding location of Christianity is also in Israel. The characteristics of Christianity. It is a monotheistic religion. The holy book is the Bible. The Bible is a combination of the Jewish Torah and the New Testament, the life and times of Jesus Christ. Christians follow the Ten Commandments, rules to live by, a moral code to live by. Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he has divine powers. And Christianity is the most practiced religion in the world. There are 2.1 billion people who say they are Christians. What is Catholicism? It's a kind of Christianity that has a man called the Pope at its head. And Catholics believe that the Pope is linked to God. Catholics also must go through sacraments. And Catholicism is known for its traditions. Pope Alexander VI, an early pope of the Catholic Church, a leader of the Catholic Church during the Renaissance. This man is a symbol of all that was corrupt and wrong with the Catholic Church during the Renaissance. Popes are not supposed to marry or have children. He did. He even has mistresses that we know about. Popes are not supposed to collect bribes. He did. Popes are not supposed to plan the murder of people. There are some historical records that show he may have been involved in poisoning political enemies. So Pope Alexander VI was an example of what was wrong with the Catholic Church and needed fixing. Here is a list of the corruption of the Catholic Church during the Renaissance that Pope Alexander was guilty of. Nepotism, giving jobs to family unfairly without hearing other candidates. Sexual misconduct, Alexander was guilty of that. Usury, handing out loans that took advantage of the poor. Alexander was guilty of that. And lastly, indulgences, charging money to receive the church's forgiveness. 
Please answer those summary questions now on page number five. All right, next lesson, a preview here for you. This man, a German monk named Martin Luther, he wrote a list of complaints about the Catholic Church, and then he publicized them for all to see and read and respond to. Until then, this is Mr. Deegan signing off.